This area is uh, the south slope of our A-frame home and uh, this was the first uh, area that we had plants in before we built the greenhouse. This area is also uh, heated in the winter with underground air but it's a different system that uh, than the uh, greenhouse. Mm -hmm. This the entrance to the greenhouse. Flowers are in different stages. Some of them are dormant. Some of them uh, have finished blooming. This is bougainvillea, uh, orchid cactus, epiphyllum. This is passiflora, but I don't see any flowers this morning. Some roses in here, avocado. Um, this is this is dancy uh, tangerine. Then uh, get into the older trees that these trees were were experimenting with some uh, grow lights, but they are very prolific can see how the fruit sets in there. This is, um, if you can see that, that's Fioa. And Ralstamira. This is some more orchid cactus. They get an idea of the size. They, this uh, white one here. They come in all colors and shapes. These are air plants. And uh, bromeliads that have they reproduce here and uh, this is this furthest older um, lemon tree is a um, Eureka the store um, lemon and uh, next to it is a um, Myers lemon that's a genetic dwarf that both of these trees uh, will produce around 150 pounds of lemons a year and there's no harvest date so there's no spoilage and we get 350 a pound for them and uh, this these are Valencia oranges, the juice orange, and uh, they're about probably a month from harvest time right now. These are all um, on mature trees. They're, some of them are 12 foot dwarfs, and um, the Myers lemon is a is a genetic dwarf that will usually get about seven eight foot tall. This is there's just plants everywhere in here. This is an amaryllis, and these are. 
fig tree with uh, this is the oldest fig tree it'll have uh, probably 125 pounds of fruit on it this year so. we're experimenting with a few uh, shade plants with uh, some grow light on them. These are a salmon colored uh, epiphyllium and uh, this um, a uh, Washington Naval orange tree. Uh, the fruit on on a lot of uh, citrus won't fall, especially in a greenhouse where there's no weather, and uh, so you you don't have any spoilage. You just wait till the market's right to market it. And, This is a kiwi, um, Caribbean hibiscus, and uh, lots of lots of uh, blackberries in bloom right now. The uh, are real prolific. This area is has a lot of roses. Um, the roses are, uh, some of them are in bloom now, but most of them bloom probably in, uh, from March till through uh, April. And then they slow down, they'll, they'll have another flush of, of uh, blossoms in the middle of the summer. This is some of the roses. And this is a um, red navel or cara cara. Um, that's a, a large Washington navel type sweet orange. And these, um, the fruit that's set now will probably be ready next year, about a year from now. This is a Tango Mandarin. Let's see. This is a um, pomegranate. It's the first First time it's bloomed uh, this year, so next year we're hoping it'll have a lot of blossoms on it. And this is Datura. This is a Schubert uh, choke cherry and a lot of grapes up above. Uh, the grapes don't take up any growing area because we plant them behind the uh, citrus trees and then they they grow above them. So this is a Mineola mandarin. Mm -hmm. more figs. This fig uh, just propagated out of a um, compost pile after we uh, trimmed trees so we left it. It's, it produces a lot of fruit a year. And there's some 
uh, old spent uh, Cymbidian orchids. The Cymbidians really grow well here. So, but.